from tape, CDs, DVDs, to our publication, Voices from His Excellent Glory, Declaring the Kingdom, write P.O. Box 21516, Hot Springs, Arkansas, zip 71903. Our website is www.lakehamiltonbiblecamp.com and lhbconline.com. There are many hundreds of free audio files there. It's like going to Bible school at home. Friday morning, December the 30th, 1977. Midwinter camp meeting being held at Lake Hamilton Bible Camp, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Praise the Lord. I'd like to have you turn in your Bibles to Luke, the 15th chapter. Luke 15 and verse 11, it says, A certain man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me, and he divided unto him his living. Not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father, of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, what did he hear? Music. He heard music and what else? And dancing. Hallelujah. Now in Romans, the eighth chapter, and the ninth verse, it says, Romans 8, 9, but Ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man hath not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your what? Mortal your mortal bodies. Your bodies you're living in right now. In the, by, by the Spirit that dwelleth in you. Now, I know at one time, I can identify with that prodigal son. And I'll tell you, I was out in the world wasting... My living with riotous living. And uh, I mean the father's inheritance with, with riotous living. But I'll tell you, I came back to the father. And I'm in my father's house. Glory to God. And I'll tell you, when there's music, I'm also going to dance. And I'll tell you why. Because I know that when I'm dancing, there is a healing that takes place in my body. Now, I want to share something with you. Right during this meeting here, I've had athletes' feet so bad, I'm telling you the truth, the height fell, was almost falling right off of my toes. And through the dancing here, and I was dancing, that is completely healed. There's not a spot on my foot at all. And, I, and the Lord showed me, the Lord showed me that it was because I was dancing to the Lord in the glory of God. And God took that thing off my feet. And I praise the Lord for that. And I believe that if we will allow the Holy Spirit... You know, we, we encourage people to speak in tongues. We say, okay, now make a noise. You know, make a noise. Come on now. Just give your, your lines. I believe if we give our bodies to the Lord when there's music and dancing, let the elder sons come in and be sour. You know, if that, I don't care. You know that. But, but I'll tell you, I've been a prodigal son. It's been saved. Let's have a good time in the Lord. If you can't dance, just jiggle up and down, you know, and, and the Holy Spirit will quicken your mortal body. Glory to God. And let's have a healing service while we're saved. Amen? Glory to God. All right, turn to uh, Psalm 30. Well, I just wanted to say, you know, that, that, that I just believe that there's a healing in this. I don't believe that God writes anything in that Bible but what it isn't for our benefit. I mean, really, for the benefit of His children. And I, I know that people probably have never recognized that there might be a real healing that will come. I never thought about arthritis of the joints and things like that. But just think if all of a sudden, you know, here you may have arthritis of the joints. But you give those joints and you give that to the flow of the Holy Ghost. You know, and you just let this go. Praise God. Why not the Holy Spirit just force that thing right out? Right out of our bodies. Psalm 30 and verse 11 says, Thou hast turned my mourning. Now, what would a person mourn over if it wouldn't be some kind of an affliction? 
Amen? Thou hast turned my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth. Thou hast girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee. Oh, okay, praise the Lord. Amen. Let's present our bodies. Living sacrifice, not dead ones. <laughs> God doesn't... I used, to, I used to think when they preach those children, you know, we now commit this body to the Lord. I thought, oh, good night, he don't want that body. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a, what's, Lord, like, this, like somebody coming up and dedicating their pipe and their, and their package of tobacco to the Lord. God doesn't smoke. I believe he dances over. <laughs> well, how about if you stand and if, and, and if, and if, we, if we sing, Thou hast turned my mourning into dancing for me. Huh? Two flats. Two okay. How, how many of you know that song, Thou hast turned my mourning into dancing for me? B flat.
You know, we are to be a people that's known for our praise and worship. With the praise and worship comes the presence of the living God. And we want to be a people that's known because we praise and worship him. Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords. We're getting ready for the kingdom. Because when that day comes, we'll do this forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Holy, holy is the Lord. High and lifted up. Hallelujah. And his train fills the temple. This temple, my temple, your temple. Hallelujah. Sing it unto him. And I will pray. Let's just pray. Just to hum it softly this time as the instruments play. this is an order we should have a deliverance service you know that many of us have been attacked in our throats and in our heads do you know that I'm one of them I've been attacked I've been fighting the devil there were several days brother McCarroll brother John here I don't know how many how many of the rest of you here brother Bob here oh, look at these people here I'll tell you brother Worley come on up here and take us through deliverance I'm ready to go I don't want that thing in my throat and my head anymore. We're coming down here to where that they're going to go back and rob the, the enemy's storehouse. <laughs> now i got to fight another deal. <laughs> now, remember that when you're in deliverance, move you praying upstairs. Uh, remember when a fire truck or an ambulance goes down through town, you take all the traffic off the streets so that will have free course to come. And demons of spirit, spirit is a breath, and most of the spirits will come out through your breathing passages. If you're saying the name Jesus, or if you're praying in the understanding or with tongues, you don't realize how powerful that is. It's like slamming a gate in its face. So when you're going through deliverance, you don't move to a passive state, you just move to a cooperative state, and you move your praying up here in your head, and then you let somebody else carry the prayer load for you, and that's what I'm going to do for you. And I just want you to breathe normally through your mouth for a little bit, and then um, I'll come against these things, and we'll see if we can get some of them free. And then uh, I'll, I'll ask you from time to time to take two or three slow, deep breaths, and expel hard 
Now, don't take more than that, because if you do, you'll hyperventilate and get dizzy and thinking you're getting deliverance, and all you're doing is just hyperventilating. We're not looking for symptoms. We're looking for freedom. Amen? All right. Satan, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. And as a believer, I claim authority over you and all your spirits. And you shall not have dominion over my mortal body. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And him that defiles this temple, God will destroy. Your evil spirits of sickness, infirmity, handicap, are defiling my temple. And I rebuke you. I reject you. And I will not accept you. Now, I don't want you to pray anymore with your mouth for a little bit. Let me pick up the prayer load and go from here. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of infirmity, sickness, and particularly those that have to do with the sinuses, the bronchial tubes, the throats, and the lungs of these people. I come against you. I bind you to my authority in Christ Jesus. I remind you that I'm seated in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus, high above Satan, high above princes, principalities, powers, dominions, and all ranks of satanic power. And I'm high above you and have authority over you. And as a believer priest, I come against you. And I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every spirit I have named that's causing swelling, irritation, infection, any kind of problems of allergies in the noses, in the sinuses, in the bronchial tubes, in the throats, and in the lungs of the people, leave now in Jesus' name. Move. Move out. Just breathe them out. Move. Move. Move out in Jesus' name. Move. Move out. Move out in the mighty name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus Christ, God's Son. Move out in the mighty name of Jesus. All the way, every bit of it. Move. 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 Move out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bit of it must go in Jesus' name. Just get out. Move in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, Satan. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, Satan. When your passage is clear, raise your hands and praise the Lord. Move out. Move out. Those that have not yet yielded, you move in Jesus' name. The people hate you, reject you. Jesus doesn't want you there. Move. You have no claim. You have no authority. I destroy every ground. I destroy every legal hold that you may have in the name of Jesus Christ. Move. All of it. Move out in Jesus' name. Every spirit of allergy, move out in Jesus' name. Out of those sinuses now. Move, move, move. Move out in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, Satan. His name is higher than any other. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is higher than any other. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is wonderful. His name is Counselor, His name is Prince of Peace, the Mighty God. His name is higher than any other. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. Some weren't quite finished when we started. Let's go again so they can join it, huh? Come on. His name is higher than any other. His name is Jesus. His name. 
Website is www.lakehamiltonbiblecamp.com and lhbconline.com. There are many hundreds of free audio files there. It's like going to Bible school at home.